hello everyone and welcome here in today's video i'm going to show you how to do newborn babies massage with this i will also share some tips and tricks to make it more fun and really playful for a baby to enjoy this as a bonding time with a mama and also i'll share some oil options i'm using dabar lal tel this is what i have used for him since day one and has worked great Dabar Lal Tail is a combination of different oils so make sure that you test out in a patch or in a body not apply on face and head for 2-3 days and see how it goes. Almond oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil are very safe options however you should avoid using coconut oil on baby or on yourself during winters because it is considered little cold oil and same goes with the mustard oil it is considered hot so make sure not to apply it in the summers and also be careful about using it on the newborn skin in the winters as well sometimes it gives a reaction okay so when we do massage of a newborn it should be from head to toe only we just apply a little bit of oil on head and face while doing massage of a face we have to focus on all the different features give them a very very gentle massage also apply oil on behind the ear as well so that if there is any development of a dead skin or anything it get released and you can wash it off while giving a bath or a sponge bath now after doing it i realized that he was getting little cranky so here is a great tip have few toys or anything contrast color ready uh, near to you so that you can just take a minute and you know relax them down and then again start doing massage whenever you see a baby is starting getting fuzzy do not push it hard to get it done with it just take a moment take a break and then do it again now i'm taking a little bit of oil again now let's move towards the shoulder and hand newborns have the tendency to keep their hand closed i mean they love to make the fist right so just apply a little bit of oil on their palm as well and as you know let them um, hold your uh, thumb or a finger this will relax their uh, hand down and do this kind of massage I, it might seem like i am putting a lot of pressure on him to do this exercise but literally i am not he was just willing to do it if your child someday doesn't want to do such kind of uh, you know movements with the hands and all let it go because not every day's massage is gonna be same now let's move towards the tummy and the chest over here as you can see i'm just rubbing his belly from both the side and then i'm gonna give 10 times circular motion massage by doing this clockwise motion actually gas get relieved and they feel so relaxed so it is a great tip to help them pass gas anyways i want to share a very quick tip over here set a particular timing in which you're gonna give the massage because newborns also thrive in the routine if you will have a particular time set for a massage you will be able to figure out the feed so i give him massage at 9 30 a.m and 8 30 p.m twice a day but you can just go for one now i also give him feed at 8 30 so that he has one hour to digest that milk and his tummy is still full but he'll not spit up while doing the massages and also we have to make sure that their tummy is still just a little full so that they do not get cranky and if they are getting cranky then all we have to do is just help them calm down with the help of toys or you can hold them rocking and singing also calms them down super quick now i'm gonna again do crisscross with his hand so that there is little extra exercise of his shoulders because they're lying on their back a lot they don't have much of a mobility from the back and the shoulders so it's really important to do that now we will move towards the legs so on the legs we go from toes to thighs and hips and for the privacy reason on this video he's wearing diaper but we don't do it with the diaper on it 
obviously do not apply any oil moisturizer on the gentle areas but on the outer crease um like on in between the skin of the gentle areas and the thighs apply just a little bit of oil so that if there is any build up anything it will loosen up and while giving a bath it comes out so easily in the washcloths and also it keeps the crease area moisturized now while doing massage of the leg make sure to give a good massage with just a little pressure on their feet because they have lot many points which helps them in relaxing and having good digestion and all so giving their feet good massage and the rubbing the points on their um, toes as well really helps so just use extra just a little extra pressure and then hold their leg straight as much as possible do not put effort too much effort but keep to, uh, both their legs together and do the little massage of their knee as well newborns do not have knee cap so we have to be very gentle on this area but just give a good straight massage because when they are in the womb they are all curled up and their legs are not straight at all so with the help of massage we can fix that and just putting a little bit of pressure on the different points of the feet helps them so much in having a good digestion good sleep and relaxes them down now we will do a little bit of exercise to help them pass gas this exercise really really works as a magic do it with both the legs and also do it with one leg at a time while pressing their one leg at a time you can also help them in moving their butt a little bit that also helps in releasing the gas uh, do not do it with a very very young newborn like a one month old or something he is now here two and a half months so it's very easy to move his hips and you know he's just used to do it now last exercise in the front side where you have to take their opposite leg in hand and curl up like this now if they are resisting do not apply pressure leave it try from the other side but if they are helping you in curling up that means they're interested and do that because it helps them in stretching the back muscle and um, the upper body muscle as well there will be few days few times when they just don't want to do any exercises so for those days just apply oil and give them a massage do not focus on exercises otherwise they just lose up all the interest in it and go with the flow enjoy this time and to end this uh, front side massage i'm just quickly gonna do the crisscross on his chest and neck and tummy and let's move towards the back side now now backside massage is very different for kids to kids some kids like to be on the tummy some don't so over here i'm just gonna apply a little bit extra oil on his backside because i wasn't able to apply from the front so yeah that's what i'm doing and on the back also we go from top to bottom over here he is wearing diaper otherwise i take the a hard hand not too hard but a still little hard from a neck to back and if your child doesn't like to lie down on the uh, you know tummy on the flat surface you can also keep them elevated also make sure that they are not applying pressure on their leg and standing but it's okay for them to just apply whatever pressure they can on the back side also we have to do crisscross the way we were doing on the front side and also focus on the spine and also hips massage is important i will show you how to do hips massage but this is how we do uh, when he just doesn't want to be on tummy on the flat surface keeping the toys in front of them or any contrast thing like any diapers or clothes that have contrast color also helps because they clearly don't understand anything about toys now i'm gonna lay him flat and give him a side massage so for that you have to turn them on side not completely but just a little and this actually helps in promoting uh, turning scales and turning over so if your child is like two and a half and three 
um just like my child you can do this massage um for little extra time for say 20 to 30 seconds on each side for a repetition of two to three times as well now comes the hips massage for this child has to be on his tummy and you have to take hands from both the sides uh, one from top one from bottom and do this away obviously you have to do it without the diaper on it actually gives a good shape of the hips that's what my mom told me uh, all the malishwali auntie in india mostly does this exercise uh, does this a step i mean and just press gently and end of the story of the massage now i have so many other videos related to baby care pregnancy postpartum everything on my channel all divided into different uh, playlist i'll provide the link in the description box thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it till end be sure to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family on whatsapp group it will mean a world to me if you will also give it a like and comment down a massage or comment down heart if you enjoyed this video thank you bye